Okay, today we're going to talk about GarageBand and how we can use the loop function to make uh, some sounds, some music for our commercial. And uh, GarageBand has changed a little bit, so I'm making a new little video. So when you open it up, basically we're going to go to Empty Projects and hit Choose. It's going to take a little while to come on, but it's going to give you four different options. These four options, one says software instrument. That's the one you want. But GarageBand is a very complex pro program that it can record your sound, like singing in there if you want. It can re also record like you playing your guitar as well as you uh, drumming. So I'm going to leave it at software instrument and hit create. And notice that my instrument comes up on here. So if I use the keys, I could play something. Okay? And that's where it's a software instrument itself. And if you're a good piano player, you can do that. I just uh, hit the red button, which allows me to then uh, get out of there. But over here on this side, there is this little ribbing looking type of thing, which is called a Apple Loops. And if we go to our Apple Loops, we have all these different things that we can find. Okay, if I go to all, let's go to Beats, and go down to over here to, uh, let's see what I want to do. Uh, Okay, now, I have decided to use this one, so I'm going to take this one and move it into my area up over here. Reminder, yesterday I talked about having each one of these little things as a different track, okay? And a track, then, I have two one. I have my piano. Notice there's nothing in this one. But in my deep beat, there is this one. Notice it only goes for three seconds. So if I come over here and get this loopy looking type of thing, I could bring it out and just repeat it for roughly how many seconds I need. So I'll just go about 15 or so. Okay, if I then hit the play button, it will play that beat there for about 15 seconds. And there is that white thing, remember, it's called the playhead. That's where it's playing the exact beat. Now, if I hit reset, I could go down into a bass, find a little bass. Okay, again, put it up in its own little track. Okay, notice that my playhead is at 6, so this won't start till 5. So I'll just click drag it over a little bit. Notice that this little slide thing allows me to condense it or make it a little bit better so I can see more of it. And I'll bring it over here till about oh, maybe two seconds. I'll start with my beat and then go into my bass. Hit the space bar, we'll shut it off again, reset. And maybe I go to my guitars. I find something I like. Make a new, what did I make? A new track. I will take this and slide it over a little bit. Take this, slide it over a little bit. Rewind and then play. When you are done, when you are done, what you are going to do is you're going to export this little music. Right now, it's a GarageBand file. I would really hate to have to yell at somebody in the middle of a video. It's a GarageBand video. 
excuse me, audio. We don't want it a garage band. We can't play that song on our players if it's a garage band file. So we have to go up to share and export the song. And notice it gives us three different sh files that we can make it. ACC is one audio file. MP3 is another audio file, and AIFF is another one. Our players usually work with MP3, so I usually pick the MP3 file. That's one of the better ones. And then I'll hit export after I rename it, and then I can then use it on my commercial. So, a lot a little bit to just to say hey we want to create our own songs for our commercial okay uh, let's see if I can